Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. Um, Christmas is here in five days. It's so bizarre that it's moving so quickly. Um, I woke up about like three hours ago. Um, it's also like about to be noon in about five minutes. So it's been a very relaxed morning. Um, literally woke up, stayed in bed all day and just decided now to wake up. Uh, I'm going to get ready and have some food. Today's going to be kind of a lazy day. Um, I don't really want to do anything. My mom wanted me to run some errands for her. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today or tomorrow because we have to go run errands anyway um, to get food for the Christmas dinner. I'm not really sure what I want to do. But I am cleaning my clothes right now because I have so much clothes I need to clean. I'm already starting to do that right now. Um, I did want to show people. So yesterday night, uh, when I after I ended the vlog, I ended up doing my nails. So Mary bought, she bought these nail fake nails, and I ended up doing them. My thumbs already came off, but um, I still have these on, and they're already they're like after putting them on, they already annoy me. <laughs> so. Um, for sure they're not gonna last long like I think by tomorrow for sure I'm taking them off because I don't want or even by tonight maybe um yeah they're just uncomfortable I don't really like them I can't really do a lot of things with them like I'm you know cleaning my clothes and everything and my hand just hurts because I'm constantly like going up against it I always feel like it's being um pulled and like my nails are being pulled off so it, it just is annoying I don't like the feeling of it so I'm definitely gonna get rid of it um, but they are, you know, they do look nice from away, but honestly, people who have false nails, I give you props for managing your day-to-day -day life with them because it takes a lot of work. And I know that if I just, if I do them to some extent and I get used to them, it might, um, I might get used to it, but I also don't want to get used to them because I'm okay, like, not having them on. So it was just a spontaneous thing that we did. Uh, we bought it from our, I tried it on and I can't wait to get them off and that's the next challenge is how to get these off in a way that won't hurt because these just happen to come off pretty easily um like it just chipped off these ones I feel like they're all kind of strong so I hope that they're easy to take off because I don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't want them on I want to find the like painless way to get them off without it hurting because it already hurts before Mary opens up the advent calendar let me just hurry and do this quickly we're officially in our 20s. Our 20s. Twenty. Okay. Alright, Mary's gonna open up right now. <gasps> it's another ring. It's another ring. Oh, hey, it's a butterfly. Is it a ring? I mean, it was a doll, but. Same kind of style ring that we've been having. So, this is what it looks like. It's kind of focus. Oh, wow. It's like two butterflies together. That's nice. Look at this. Perfect. It's beautiful. Beautiful. So, I'm making this toast called a ex-boyfriend toast that I just found on YouTube. Basically, right now, I just put the bread on butter, let it toast in here. That's Once that's done, I'll get this off. Transfer it over to a plate. Okay, so once this is on the plate, um, all you have to do is put on some whipped cream cheese. They use blueberry, but I'm going to actually don't have blueberry, so I'm going to use strawberry instead. And basically, you put this in there, and then you microwave it. All right, so I'm going to use the cream cheese here that's been whipped. They say to be very generous with the cream cheese. So I'm going to be just a little bit generous. And I'm going to just coat this whole thing with the cream cheese. I love... No. I loved whipped... Um, cream cheese because it's just so much easier to work with anyway so that's good i thought i want to double dip into my jam i'm just gonna try to get a good amount like so and then just fire this on oh my goodness this seems like there's a lot of jelly on here oh, this 
might be too much jelly. Okay, so once this is on, you microwave for about 30 seconds. And then you get to enjoy. Alright, so this is a toast. Um, it is steaming hot, so you need to be careful with it. I'm actually going to probably eat it with a fork and a spoon. I mean, fork and knife because, again, with these nails, it's hard to eat with it. Yeah, honestly, the microwave melted the cream cheese a little bit. It tastes like when you have a strawberry and a cream cheese like dessert, like a Danish. That's what it tastes like. That is so good. It's perfect. Mm. It's warm. It's soft, but it's also crispy. Mm. Highly recommend this video. I'll put the link in the description. All right, so I am putting on makeup right now. Uh, I'm using this Alama palette. I'm using this Cilia one right here, which is a green palette. Um, after I was finished eating, I took a look and my nail came off. I didn't even, I didn't even feel it come off. And it's gone. So now I am on this side. I am three out of five. Here I am four out of five. And we'll just see how long it's gonna last. I was really wondering about how much energy I'm gonna actually use into getting these off of me. But it looks like if it's gonna keep this is gonna keep happening, I don't really have to worry. This green is not that strong. This one up here, the L. Malecon right here on top. It's so good. It's so strong. So pigmented. I absolutely adore it. I'm also just gonna sharpen this eyeliner. I love this eyeliner because it sharpens so not this eyeliner, but I love this sharpener because it just does such a good job. I sharpening the eyeliner. I've also been looking for a sharpener for like literally <clears throat> weeks. Couldn't find any and then finally found it at with NYX. Surprising that there's not a lot of people, makeup brands that sell them apparently. And it comes on really strong so I'm just going to go very light. Okay, this is the look for today. Blue. Oh. So, yeah, that's the look for today. That's the look for today. I'm debating if I still want to do my hair. I might do my hair and up to or not. Alright, so I uh, finished with my makeup and everything. I'm actually going to light the candle that Abby gave me yesterday. I think it's like a vanilla. And I don't really know what it's supposed it to be. did say that it is, oh, it's from Nebraska. It's a 60-hour burn time. Yep, it's a vanilla musk sandalwood, well-balanced with jasmine, lavender, orange. So, I am just so, like, shocked that soak the glass in hot water to soften the wax then wipe it out remove the wick from base of glass clean out and wash it i can so shot this can actually be um yeah they can actually be a drinking thing so yeah i'm gonna light light it that's taking a while
I would say that when I first did mine, the rose one, I'm actually going to throw it away. I think I finished, like it didn't burn the way that it's supposed to burn, so it's no longer useful. So I'm going to light this on. Yes, you can do. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be, the first part is the most important. Make sure the melt pool reaches all sides of the candle before extinguishing, otherwise tunneling can occur. How do I do that? Make it a habit to let the melting pool reach the sides of the can to get the biggest bolt as possible and it's sure to capture its whole potential. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna let this burn for a little bit and I'm also going to I'm actually gonna look up this uh, person. This is the earring that she got me yesterday. I'm gonna look it up. So we are chilling and we're watching this movie called The Calling or The Call. And it's a horror movie. Well, horror thriller movie. And I've been holding off on it because it's been dark and I don't want to watch it at night. So we're finally watching it now. It's like almost two o'clock. And um, it has an actress I know, an actor I know. And so hopefully we'll see how it goes. It's on Netflix if you want to watch it. It's called The Call and it's supposed to be eerie. So, I have not watched a horror movie in a very long time because I'm not a big fan of horror movie at all. So, it's been a while since I watched something. The last time I watched something scary was The Haunting of Bible, Abel, Mabel, Hotel or something. <laughs> Why are you talking shit, man? <laughs> what was it? Whatever. It was like The Haunting of... Bly Manor. Yeah, haunt, The Haunting of Bly Manor. That was actually pretty scary. Jumpy and scary. Uh, but then it got better over time. It's not The Haunting. The, the Haunting. 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 The haunting. Haunting, yeah. So anyway, check that out. Um, yeah, let me show you what, what the movie looks like. Oh my gosh, she's already making a phone call. So this is actress Park shin -hye. So far, she's supposedly going to this place. That's not like a woman. Dude, give her a phone back. Oh, shoot. What? Damn. Wait, the police office was completely open? Like, no one was there at all? Because it makes sense if it's a small town. Who hung on the tour? I just finished the call and it is literally pissing me off because it's so freaking annoying so it turns out that it's a freaking oh I can't even I can't even talk I can't even I don't want to spill it in case someone wants to watch it but I am so livid. I cannot believe it just when you think yeah, just what you think, you know what's happening, and you find out that you don't know it after all, but you know what, those are the type of best movies, let's just say that. Oh, God, I want to freaking scream. Okay, I don't know what we're going to watch next, um, maybe a Christmas movie, or keep watching, like, horror, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of over this horror movie, or thriller stuff, I'm just, like, over it. So I'm not going to do it. Mary wants me to peel her, oh, shit. I don't know where the oranges are. Where, where are your oranges? The big ones. I want to see your, the cuties and then the Korean 
The Korean one. Oh, I see it. Oh my gosh. All right, so part of today's Vlogmas activity is to do Christmas cards. So these are cards that Mary bought a while ago, and I'm going to write um, Christmas cards to people. I mean, it already has a message in there. I think really nice. But I'm adding just a little bit of more of a sweet note to it. And yeah, and Mary's also working on the puzzle. Once I'm done with the Christmas cards, I'm going to go work on the puzzle, and then she'll do the Christmas cards. So, yeah. first card i don't really like the pink it was too strong and smudgy so you can't really even read it i'm watching this movie called the christmas prince oh god i'm making my blood boil um i don't really i just don't like the way that it's panning out and I don't like the girl and all the main characters just annoying me and it's interesting though because we've been watching a lot of Prince stuff so someone does have to have with the freaking show that does not exist okay you can't be doing that in the royal family gosh ugh, so annoying but anyway I finished writing some of the Christmas cards so I have some here already written out I have four um we're gonna do more for the family i'm actually gonna try to look up if i have the address of any of my like my mom's family and if not i might just reach out to them hopefully it gets them in time because we are sending this out tomorrow and christmas is in five days so hopefully it gets to them if not by christmas it doesn't matter at the end of the year that's totally fine because it's season's greeting anyway so it's not specifically for christmas but you know just be nice to at least get to them before the year is over so i'm trying the toast the ex boyfriend toast this morning again for a quick snack before dinner. This time, I just put it in the toaster, toast it up, and then put the stuff on there. And I was like, it's good, but it's different. I think it's better to put butter in there. Something about that butter. See, it's just simple. Also reminds me of like, you know bagel foals? With like cream cheese and the strawberry. Tastes like bagel full. Actually that's not bad at all. Mm. Just like that. For dinner, I mean burger. I have lettuce right here. The bun, the um, chicken, I mean the patties are cooking. I need to, to do the tomato, I need the onions, and, and then we could get to eat that, so I'm really excited. Interesting.
All right, so I finished um, the food. It just needs to be assembled now. I cut some tomatoes up, just slices. I also cut these onions up. The tip is that if you don't want it to be super like oniony, soak your onions in cold water for about I don't know five minutes or so and you can just take it out and it's still super awesome it's actually softer a little bit and it doesn't have that like super spicy taste to it so that's good and again the lettuce i rinsed a little bit more the patties are done so i'm gonna have um two lettuce wrap and i'm gonna assemble my burgers for you to oh my gosh okay all right so i'm gonna start assembling i have my bread right here and all my bread, I'm going to put like, let's put some sauce on it. Oh, actually no, let's put some lettuce, all, like onions on bread, a tomato. Then I grab my bun. Bun's been sitting for a while. And then I'm gonna add in some ketchup. Generous amount of ketchup. I think I'm gonna do one with the mustard, and then one with that the mustard. So there's that as well. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit more onion because we have a lot of onions. Another tomato, and then I'm just gonna add throw on another lettuce on there because why not? There we go. Here's a bird's eye view. This is the burger. And then throwing a lettuce on top of it. It's just gonna hang out. I'll just probably cut this part off and eat this here. I'm most likely gonna use a knife and fork anyway because that's just how the burgers are. Um, they're a little bit messy and that's totally fine. I just finished taking out the trash. Some days I'm just really on the groove and I just do so major cleanup. I so thought today's the day. So yeah, we clean the entire kitchen, wiped everything down. Everything looks really good and clean. And I'm going to just put some bags into trash bin, bags in the trash bins. And then, ouch, I'm gonna finally relax. Hello. So for the past several hours, we've been working. Oh, we've been doing this puzzle, and I feel pretty successful. Um, I've placed the princess on the board, and now I'm just trying to rearrange um, the pieces that connect them together. I feel pretty clever because by doing that and looking at the pu looking at the puzzles and like looking at the corners, I was actually able to put like a bunch of them in. And this has been taking us two days. So I want to be done with this. I feel like I want to be done by tonight. I'm really ambitious on this. Um, but anyway, for the past several hours, we've also been, uh, after dinner, we watched um, some cooking show and I really want some desserts right now. And then we're now watching some K-pop stuff. But yeah, so far so good. We're just kind of relaxing. And then uh, I'm hoping to get this stuff done really soon. And tomorrow looks like we have some stuff to do. Right. I'm happy to report that we finally finished the puzzle. Look at it in all its glory. We're really close. At Towards the end, we had like this one piece that did not match where it was supposed to go. And so we had to look at the whole puzzle again. We were touching and feeling it. And it turns out that we put a wrong puzzle piece down. And that, that was the missing piece. And the piece that we did have went where we're supposed to go but we're done it took us two freaking days to work on it um since we're done we're just gonna get rid of it we're just gonna tear all apart again we should do we should number it no all right i'm gonna close out today's video um not gonna say a lot for today uh just that i hope i'll see y'all tomorrow and have a great night